Welcome to English 9 Making Connections, Community Spirit Drives Volunteer Firefighters in Portugal by Associated Press adapted by New Zealand Staff, Quarter 2, Week 4. I am Mr. Sambalo and I am your subject teacher for this course. Since this is just continuation of lessons coming from weeks 1 to 4, we are now on learning test 7. Read the article carefully, then in your notebook, answer the questions that follow. Use annotations to get the main idea of the selection. Let us read the text. Community Spirit Drives Volunteer Firefighters in Portugal by Associated Press Adapted by New Zealand Staff. This summer 2000, Portuguese firefighters battled a deadly week-long wildfire that killed 64 people. Besides facing serious danger, these firefighters had something in common. They were doing it for no pay. Over 90% of Portugal's firefighters are volunteers. From lawyers to construction workers, they take time off work to risk their lives. The volunteer fire departments where they work need donated money to pay for their equipment. During the summer fire season, firefighters are often sent to fires far from home. Then the government pays these brave men and women $2 an hour. The volunteer firefighters usually give the money to their fire departments. Sense of duty pushes volunteers. Yugi Simois is a 33-year-old bombero or firefighter. In June, he was sent to the country's deadliest wildfire. He says a sense of duty and brotherhood drives the volunteers. We do it out of community spirit, he says. Volunteer firefighters are not uncommon in Europe and beyond. More than 97% of German firefighters are volunteers. In the United States, that figure is around 70%. But in Portugal, these volunteer services are the front line in emergencies. There are just seven paid fire departments in the country. Cultural Tradition Simões works for Portugal's oldest fire department, the Bombeiros Voluntarios de Lisboa. It was created in 1868 in the capital city of Lisbon. For him, the volunteer spirit shown by generations of firefighters is not remarkable. It is a cultural tradition. Here in Portugal, it has been like this for a long time. He shrugs. We like what we do. On hot days when we could go to the beach, we come here to the fire department instead. Simões works full-time, doing administrative work at the fire department. He earns around $700 a month. In June, there was a huge blaze about 90 miles north of Lisbon in Pedrogao, Grande. Simoy set up with four vehicles and their crews. Some walk out of work and risk being marked as absent, Simoy says. Across the country, other volunteer firefighters did the same. Summer is the time for wildfires. The Pedro Gao Grande blaze grew because of hot weather, strong winds, and dry woods. The fire spread quickly and trapped people in their cars when they tried to escape. The stress, the adrenaline, the heat, they demand a huge effort, Simoy said. At times, it can get a bit hairy, but our training kicks in. Similar scenes play out every summer in Portugal. Giant flames make the firefighters look tiny. Huge clouds of smoke stretch to the horizon. Locals help out with buckets and garden hosses and try to stop the flames with broken up tree branches. Wildfires race through eucalyptus and pine forests that are uncleared and tightly packed. This year has been particularly bad due to, due to a severe drought. Portugal is one of 28 countries in the European Union, but the wildfires in Portugal cost more than one-third of the burnt forests of the European Union. Last week, Simois and his team were sent to a major forest fire near Pedro Gau Grande. Firefighters had the blaze under control within 48 hours. Donating food and water. The volunteer firefighters are seen as heroes in Portugal. A recent fundraising effort called them Heroes Without Capes. The people of Portugal happily donate large amounts of food and water to help the firefighters. About 80 people are on call at the Bombeiros Voluntarios de Lisboa. They receive more than 300 hours of training, which is also done outside their day jobs. Simoy says that the department has always had enough workers, though... It stretched in emergencies. It has just enough money. Fire suits cost over $2,000 each. The recent purchase of 100 new helmets cost $33,000. Portugal's volunteer fire department opened by used vehicles in Lisbon that includes a fire truck purchased in Luxembourg. A new one costs almost $300,000. Way too expensive for the department. Their dream they confide is to own a big American fire truck. After reading the text, let us now process the following questions. Number one, what are the two main ideas of the article? Of course, the first idea is community spirit drives volunteer firefighters in Portugal. So that will be the first idea. And for the second one, I would like you to deal with it. 
Next, what do you think is the purpose of the article? The purpose of the article is to inform, to inform people regarding what's the situation of the fire of the firefighters in Portugal and also to inspire. Next, do you know any similar circumstances experienced by Filipino firefighters and or other risk reduction personnel in your community? So maybe in your community, in your very own barangay, you have noticed there are firefighters who are also uh, doing their very best to, to, to volunteer or to do their jobs and of course to be of service to the people. But in our city, uh, we are lucky for we have enough budget for the firefighters but uh, dealing with uh, dealing with the uh, people of risk reduction personnel during the successive typhoons uh, they lack of they lack of support already financial support or actually it's not financial support because every every city has its own emergency funds but maybe uh, the drained body the drained body but still working just to give service to fellow men okay then the last question uh, the last activity here, complete the community connections graphic organizers on the next page. So let's have the graphic organizer. So let's have this graphic organizer, community spirit drives volunteer firefighters in Portugal. The article said what? Then what are your thoughts about uh, your community? So if you will make connection between this activity and our lesson for weeks one to four making connections so we have now here the third type of connection which is text to world so you have there the article what is said in the article regarding the firefighters in portugal and what are your thoughts now uh, in your community about your community dealing with the article so this is the this is the very purpose of having this uh, learning task or the uh, article in the lesson for you to practice what you have learned about making connections okay so we have now here the types of connections the third type which is text to the world okay text to world so let's proceed so you will deal uh, with this activity in your google form link on this portion, I would like you to pay attention to whatever I'm going to say because this will be your performance task for weeks 1 to 4. So, learning activity 8, make a cultural content connections project related to the text you have read in learning task 1. Do this in your notebook. Making cultural content connections project, name of community icon. So, you will be choosing someone from the community who will serve as your icon, okay, or your idol. So, this is an independent project where you will research on a particular community icon living or not living like a local hero leader volunteer or advocate who has made some sort of contribution to the community and culture where you belong whether the community icon pioneered an advocacy made something better contributed enormous ideas or discovered something we want to know about it so you decide now whom among the people in the community you're going to choose as your community icon you have five choices for the type of product that you will be completing. Choose one from the given options. The first option, news article. Write a front page news story article about your community icon and explain how he, she, and his or advocacy, discovery, or contribution affects your life. Two, children's book. Create a printed children's book inspired by using important details about your famous community icon and his her advocacy, discovery, or contribution. Third, poster. Create a poster of your community icon including all important facts about his or her life and advocacy, discovery, or contribution. 4. Model. Create a small 3D physical model that represents what your famous community icon achieved, the advocacy, discovery, contribution, etc. with a written informational speech. And lastly, you can create a digital presentation. Create a digital presentation that includes important details about your famous community icon. So again, you have 5 choices uh, to choose from on making your cultural content connections project. I have here the Making Cultural Content Connection Scoring Guide. Name of community icon, the first, middle, and last name of your community icon, one point. Mugshot, a mugshot picture of your community icon, two points. 
time period, years living, 1973 to present, 1 point. Birthplace, his or her place of origin, 1 point. Cultural similarity, your similarity with your community icon, 5 points. Location, place where he, she, did, does, his, her work, 1 point also. Description, a description of what your community icon is most famous for, 3 points. Pictures, Pictures, graphics, or illustrations of what your community icon is famous for, three points also. Accomplishments, a paragraph explaining how his, or how his her accomplishment has benefited the community, five points. And we have appearance, two interesting facts about your community icon, two points. So all in all, we have here 21 points, am I correct? 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 14, 17, 22, 24 points so far. Let's continue. We have a continuation for the for the connection scoring guide for the making cultural content connection scoring guide to complete your making cultural content connection scoring guide these are the last two things that i'll be looking for in your outputs a quote a quote from your community icon one point and of course the quality of presentation attractive colorful creative and informative presentation 20 points so all in all you will get 45 points for this uh, activity so this will be recorded under performance task for our last activity Fill in the blanks with the correct terms relevant to what you have learned in this lesson. Choose from the word pool below. Making blank with materials that you come across whether to yourself, to another material, or to the blank is a significant skill that helps you understand concepts better. It is relative in improving other macro blank like writing and speaking. Likewise, being able to make connections helps you make a deeper sense of the world. Three ways of establishing connections are text to self, blank, and text to world. So the first answer is, you get it correct, connections. Second, world. Third, skills. And the last one is text to text. So I hope that you have learned a lot from the lessons that we tackled for weeks one to four. Thank you. I hope that you have learned a lot from the lessons we had in weeks one to four. Good day and God bless us all.